Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea 2! Since last time, I did the grinding that I needed to for my magic night there, so, yeah, it took me a little less than an hour and a half, so, not bad, not bad. So, let's take a look at what we got. So, once I unlocked the Space Knight tier of the magic knight i also grinded him back up to level 200 that should be more than good enough for now and yeah let's take a look at that there with the reincarnating so yeah unlock the sixth tier that's as good as it gets there now when i was doing the grinding i didn't grind up for the bare minimum to reincarnate like you would do 12 24 48 96 192 but I didn't do that. I grinded up however much I needed to reincarnate at genius capability for each tier. You don't have to do that, but I think it's a good idea because you see the inheritance rate on the right there. That's how much of your weapon and skill experience that you will hold on to on, in the next reincarnation there. So it's not a big deal right now, but that's how I wanted to go just to satisfy my... OCD there. Okay, so now that we've gotten that taken care of, let's see. I also... Oh yeah, I want to create some new star skulls. So let's go with that. Now, when you're creating a new unit at Distinguished or Genius Capability, you need to get approval from the Dark Assembly here. Fortunately, it is relatively easy to do as long as you've previously bribed most, if not all, of the Senators. I don't think I'll even need any items to bribe them with, but you never know. So this guy is going to be my fire magic knight, eventually. Travel was another who contributed on my forms to the, well, to my test runs and helped me go quite a bit with planning the post game and everything like that. Okay, so we got that, 28 intellect at least with fire elemental affinity there and you can't seem to get both of them there we go okay so we got that i suppose the elemental affinity doesn't really matter right now because well he's just a star skull but anyway yeah let's just go with that i want to create another one for my ice elemental magic knight that should be good hopefully the Holy dragons, don't screw me over too badly. Haha! -ha. Alright. Easy enough there. So yeah, I'm just creating these guys right now, even though I'm not going to use them yet, because I want to be able to throw them into court gates and start it, uh, what is it? Accumulating felonies for later on when I do use them. And Pickleton was someone on again on my forums who helped me with planning out a lot of stuff there too. Okay, so this one I, I want ice elemental affinity if I can get that one of these days. Good. Okay, so we got those two ready to go. They're just gonna be there on standby. And let's see. What do we got? Okay, so now I want to create a thief, and I don't really care about the stats of my thief. All I care about is the level, and since, well, I'm not going to be using guns in the post game, or at least not very much, the Nazgard will reincarnate into a thief then. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't care about HP. So we'll just go with that. That'll be good for later. I'm not going to level her up right now, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, so what I want to do is I have some a, a little bit of grinding that I need to do with uh, the Nazgard there, as well as Jerubu there for learning some spells there. So let's see. Are we all good? Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay, so I want to go back to LK City. And this time, let's see, for Nazgard, I only need to kill one enemy. That'll get all the experience that I need. And for Jeruru, I'm going to need to kill the four 
magic knights there in order to get enough experience to learn Omega Heal. That's the best one you got in the game. Not even Terra Heal, let alone Peta Heal or anything like that. So. Okay, now let's kill one more of those guys. Yeah, I've got the SP. Let's go like that. Haha. -ha. And then get out of the way. So what I'm going to do to help facilitate the grinding here, let's see, what's your HP looking like? Okay, not bad, not bad. I can probably one-shot the guy. Okay, let's get one of my Heavy Knights out. I renamed my Heavy Knights because I'm going to create some other generic units coming up soon. Oh, right. Let's get the Nazgard out there. Throw you to Void, and then do a tower attack on the Star Skull there. Haha! -ha! And let's see. Okay, yeah, all I needed was level 10. That is more than good enough. These guys won't be able to scratch Void at this point. So that will be relatively easy. Let's get you out of there now. Go on home. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of where I want to position myself. Okay, yeah. Let's go there. That should be fine. If I need to, I can throw one of the Magic Knights onto, back onto those experience boosting tiles. Phew. Didn't want to get a counter there, but that's okay. Okay, so Nazgard is good to go. Daruru, let's bring you back up here. And... There you go. Let's see, I, I just need to get her up to level 50. So, yeah, we should be good. I need to hit these Magic Knights from behind in order to deal the kind of damage I want. Oh, and another thing I did with all my Heavy Knights, I bought a whole bunch of slippers for all of them. So now they can all move as far as I need them to. I will rearrange the order of my party members later. Let's see, I want to get behind the Magic Knight there. With a diagonal throw. Ha ha! So yeah, if I get behind the Magic Knights, I barely have enough damage to kill them from behind. Okay, well, we're getting there. I'm not worried about the Magic Knights who are going to die. They serve their function. Okay, let's get you back on there. Hmm. Okay, I'll need a little help here, but that's okay. Get you behind there. Haha! -ha. Okay, I think one more. Yeah, okay. One more out of it. Ow! Quit it. Okay, let's see. Let's go there. Get you over there. It's good. What do we got on bonus experience? Okay, we'll be fine. I don't want my heavy knights to level up, actually. So, they're cheaper to revive. Or I could just totally screw up the diagonal throw there. Whoops. Okay, let's see. How are we doing there, then? Okay, good, good. So we got those two ready to go. There is another job class that I would like to unlock while I'm learning Omega Heal. So let's take a look at what we got. Okay, let's go like that. Throw one of those guys into the base panel to capture the monster. Boom. We're ready to go. Let's see. Okay, let's get all those enemies over there out of the way. Good enough. And okay. Now let's just wait until I can get in range or or I can learn Omega Heal. Okay, where is that? There it is. So yeah, same thing as before, just keep on using it over and over and over again until 
you fully learn the spell. Ow! Quit it. Yeah, these guys probably can't even hit me. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. How'd it get all the way up there? Huh. Must be something with how the game sorts that stuff. Now, I'm sending Jeruru back into the base panel every time so that I don't get killed by these guys. I probably should have passed the weakest enemies bill before doing this, but it's not a big deal. Did I lose it again? Keeps on moving around on me. But yeah, as you can see, Omega Heal is a lot better than just the regular healing spell. But it is kind of hard to train up a healer to be able to take care of that. During the main storyline, that is. That's why I didn't do that there. Okay, so how are we doing on Omega Heal? Where are you? Okay, probably two more casts, I think, and that'll be good. But basically what I want to do with capturing that monster, that unlocks the bill to... Well, you gotta pass it in order to unlock the Beastmaster job class. And those would be really useful for the post-game when I'm going through the item world. Okay, do you have it fully learned, then? Okay, yeah, it's at level one. We are good to go. Ow, quit it. Ow, quit it. Finish that. Okay, good enough there. Let's see, where's the bill? Oh, I uh, won some items from one or the other battles that I fought. Where'd all my other stuff go? Oh, yeah, I was like, where'd all my other stuff go? I didn't sell everything. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so now we want to create some beast masters. I don't think it matters who I have create them. I'll just have Adele create them for an arbitrary reason. But I do need to pass the bill to do that. And I forget the name of the bill. I think it's this one. Yeah, we should be good here. Assuming this is the correct bill. Or I could just get totally hosed. Why not? Thanks a lot, Holy Dragons. Well, it's 10 mana, whatever. I'm not gonna re-record just for that. Let's try that one again. Hopefully some of the Holy Dragons will join my side. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, so, yeah, once you've captured a monster, that bill appears, and then... Okay, yeah, now let's create... Where are they? The Beast Masters! I want to create nine of them, just like I did with the Heavy Knights there. And basically, the reason I want to create all these Beast Masters is that I'm going to create... Well, yeah, I'm going to create nine of them. And I want them to equip those bows that I bought way earlier. And something that they don't quite tell you about Beastmasters is that whenever they take an action, it boosts the bonus gauge a lot more than it does with other job classes. So I'm going to be going to, into the item world and doing a whole bunch of stuff with that. And if I ever see an item on the bonus list that I want to get, all I need to do is take my nine Beastmasters, have them, or, well, first I'd kill almost all the enemies. But then I would have my Beastmasters all attack a single enemy, and then I would have my Thief use, I think it's called Consciousness, whatever that ability is, and that would put the enemy to sleep. So I'll gain, like, Four, three or four bonus gauge levels. And the enemy will be put right back to sleep, so they'll never be able to do anything about it. And the reason I want to use bows for that is because if you use melee weapons, 
and even if you put the enemy to sleep, they'll still be able to counterattack you if they're in range of you, or melee range, or even if it's a archer, I think they could counter as long as they're in range of you. So you want to watch out for that. And I'll rearrange all my party members appropriately later. I'm probably not actually going to be using the Beastmasters right away because the low level items that I want to uh, go through coming up here, well, yeah, they're low level items, so the enemies aren't really going to, or the bonus gauge probably isn't going to have anything that I really care about anyway, other than like maybe Defender Reverse cell phones or Prism Ranger cell phones or whatever. Okay, so now, before going into the item world, let's see, let's go weakest enemies, get rid of all those stronger enemy deals, don't need them anymore. Awesome. Okay, so what I want to do in order to increase, well, the power of my uh, Space Knight there, let's see. Ah, yeah, I, I'm looking for a particular bow, uh, the Master's Bow, specifically there. And you know what, as long as I got all my uh, Beastmasters here, fortunately, I have all these bows that I bought a long time ago. So that'll help out so they don't accidentally kill anything. Okay, so that's all those. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. The reason why I want a Master's Bow is because they always contain a particular uh, specialist that I want, Professionals. And the nice thing about that specialist is that they... What do they do? Uh, they boost your crit rate, and you can stack them up to 100. So basically, what I want to do is take... A Master's Bow... Actually, let's get rid of all this stuff here, too. So I take the Master's Bow, I subdue the Ten Professionals by another Master Bow. Yeah, and just keep on doing that until I get all the Professionals that I want. So hopefully I'll be able to find them in the first ten floors of the item, and even though it's not much, I'm still going to try and get some bailiffs here. Every little bit counts. You only need 300, so even if I'm getting two of them at a time, it's not... Well, I mean, it'll help. It'll add up eventually. So, let's see. So, we got the bailiff. Transfer that one over there. We got, yeah, the Master's Bow. The enemies there will not be remotely high-leveled enough to actually be a problem. And something else that I want to do in the item world... Am I at full? I think I haven't been to the hospital yet. Yep, there you are. But yeah, some other things that I want to do in the item world is I want to try and meet up with some pirates in there to get some of those maps if I'm able to do so. I also want to use whatever mystery gates I can find, so that way I can either find the cell phone shop. Do I have any cell phones left? Ah, well, there's one, but yeah. I want to buy those Defender of Earth and Prism Ranger cell phones there if I find them. If I don't, it's not a big deal, but sooner or later, it would be nice if I could have those there. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to get done in the... Uh, the item world there. Usually what I like to do for spawning pirates in there is that whenever I go to another floor, I'll clear out whatever enemies are remotely threatening to me. And then I'll just sit around for like three rounds. And if the pirates... If a pirate shows up, great. If not, I'll just move on to the next floor. I'm not 100% sure how pirate spawning works. I mean, I know which items are more likely to contain which pirates. I know that much. I just don't know the exact algorithm for how they spawn. I mean, if you know, let me know. But usually I just stick around for three rounds and that's about it. As I go through the item world and basically I just want to farm up to 100 professionals. Next time on Let's Play Disgaea 2. 
This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!